Hey everyone, Jonathan here. Um, I had some real problems with my chipset drivers a little while back. This was when Windows 7 first came out. and uh, But it's still applicable, applicable today, you know. Um, and so I wanted to show people how to do this right because I tried downloading some from a free site and it screwed up my computer pretty bad. So, uh, anyway, first you, you, th this was for Intel X58 driver pack, but, you know, it can, it can apply to pretty much any company. You will want to go to that company's website and they'll usually either have a support link like here at Intel or sometimes they even have a drivers and downloads link. And, uh, then you go down, you'll go down and, just go through the menus on the screens that you find and right here it says browse for drivers or software and then you get down to the download center and you search for chipset and then it takes you to yet another search where you can you can get down to your specific chipset and if if you don't know then you may have to download several and try them out that's uh that's the free way to do it there's a, there's also a software that can uh, there's a free software and a paid software too that can help you, but right now I'm trying to show you the free way, and uh, you will end up needing to download that software and then you'll have to run it. You may have to pick run as an administrator, and uh, once once you've run the package, you'll probably have to restart your computer. And hopefully you'll be fine. It, it can be hard to tell if you're not exactly sure what kind of chipset you've got. So it, it can be frustrating because you're going to end up spending all afternoon and a couple of afternoons doing it. That's why I eventually bought something called Driver Boost. Now you don't have to buy it. I, I started out with the free version. You can download it and it will tell you what you need for your computer and tell you what's missing. And... uh you can go out and try and find it or you can buy the paid version and it will do it automatically and it'll do an automatic update whenever however you you set it to but you know you can also just go on their site like I've done here for this video and um, you can get the instructions to do it for free if you don't mind spending a little and potentially a lot of time good luck thanks